Hey my friends, it's Tom with Watch and River. Welcome to Time is Short. Let's pray. Uh, most of you know, you know that something horrendous happened yesterday, the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. And uh, I just wanna tell you that, you know, A, our country's in deep trouble. I think most of us know that, but you know, we're in the season of the rapture. So we didn't expect normalcy. If you're expecting normalcy or if you're thinking the world's ever going to get back to normal, <clears throat> you're gravely mistaken. We're in the season of the rapture. But in saying that, you know, we really need to pray for our country and pray for the people and pray for our leaders. And my prayer isn't that the country goes back to normal. <laughs> my prayer is that many, many, many will come to the knowledge of what Jesus did for them that they'll believe in his atoning blood and his finished work because nothing's going back to normal in this world. We're in the season of the rapture. And what we saw yesterday was horrible, but I'm, I'm here to tell you, I think we're gonna possibly see worse before we're raptured. You know, don't, don't let that scare you. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. We're in the season, and we're not long for this world. So, um, <clears throat> all right, let's let's read some scripture. Let's go to Psalm twenty-seven. Okay. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes. They stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me. O oh God of my salvation, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O oh Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. It's a beautiful psalm. Just felt like the right psalm for this morning. So Sundays are different around here, around these parts. <laughs> Instead of doing news and stuff, what we do on Sunday is we pray for each other because most of us believe, and many more are climbing on board, that we're in the last days and that we're waiting for Jesus to harpazo us, to, to rapture us up to the clouds and take us to heaven. And then those seven years come and they're terrible, but most of us believe that we're in that season and we're looking up and we're waiting every day. I always say, I think it's the next event on the prophetic calendar, the rapture of the church. Yet we have so many people in our life that don't know Jesus and we're concerned about it. So on Sunday, I always tell you guys, use the comment section below the video, whether you're watching this on Rumble or YouTube and put your prayer requests below. List all the people that you're concerned about. And then I always tell you, I always plead with you, please don't just do that comment and then leave because if everybody does that, there's not gonna be one prayer said. But you guys are very faithful because most of you don't do that. Most 99% don't do that. So 
that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, look at somebody else's comment, say a prayer for them and reply and tell them I prayed for you. Cause there's nothing like seeing that from somebody you've never met. You know, it's a forever brother or sister, but you've never met them here on earth. But yet they're praying for your, the people you're concerned about. And that's amazing. So I always tell you guys to do that. And uh, I have to remind you that I know sometimes it's frustrating. I've had some people say, I've listed my friends and family and coworkers and relatives week after week after I haven't seen anything happen. God's not a genie in a bottle. He doesn't answer prayer immediately. Look throughout scripture, but he always answers prayer. His time, his timing is not our timing. So I'm going to encourage you again, put, keep putting him in there because on the flip side, many people have said, you know, I listed my family week after week after week, and you're not going to believe what happened this week. And they start telling their testimony of people turning to the Lord. So don't give up. Don't give up. We're in the last days. Okay, I'm going to say a prayer before we uh, before we start doing this, okay? <clears throat> Father, who is like you? The Most High God, a God of love, a God of power, no one like you. You restore us. You give us life. You're the rock. And we need, especially in these days, to lean on you. Lean on our rock. You are our refuge. We take shelter under your wing. We see things happening in this world, Father, that are unfathomable. We see things happen in this world, Father, that just, if we take our eyes off you, we can get really worried about the things going on in the world. But Father, help us to keep our eyes on you. You have a perfect plan for each one of us. Lord, I lift up every person that will be listed today. I know that you know every one of them. You knit them in their mother's womb. You have a plan for them. And even though sometimes we list them and we think it's impossible for this person... We know it's not. You're, nothing's impossible for you, including the drawing of someone by your spirit. So we're going to expect miracles today. We're going to expect people to turn to you like never before in these last days. Soften their hearts, please. Prepare them. Draw them by your spirit. We'll give you the praise and the glory. I thank you that you hear us, you hear our prayers. You're not a God who runs away from us when we plead and when we seek you. You come toward us and you hug us. We want to stay close to you these times. I don't want to be anywhere but close to you. So please do that incredible thing that only you can do. And we'll praise you forever. And I say this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, guys. Let's get busy. I'm committed to doing these videos on Sunday until the day of the rapture. And I don't think I'm going to be doing them too much longer. Let's get busy. Um, 
I love you guys, and God willing, I will see you guys tomorrow.